What's going on? So my beloved Nexus has been replaced. So what did I end up getting? I actually finally pulled the trigger. I got the V30. As far as I'm concerned, the V30 is the best phone out there for power users or for creators or for anyone that wants their phone to do more. For a lot of people, for hell, even most people probably, the S8, S8 Plus and Note 8 are the best phones. But for those of us that want more out of their phones, being a unbelievably good headphone jack, cameras that take a bit of a different approach, really cool software as far as like uh, what the cameras can do and stuff like that, the fingerprint reader in the right damn place, all these little things uh, I think really add up in favor of the V30, especially considering this is IP68 as the S8s are and Note 8 and all that stuff, but it's also mill standard what, whatever the hell I'll put it over here. Maddie, are you coming in here? My dog interrupted. But on top of the IP68 rating, it's also military rated or whatever. Now, being in the military, I know that sometimes this is kind of bullshit, but in this case, I did a bit of research. I was reading around about it, and it's... In this case, it actually does mean something. The phone has to withstand quite a bit of abuse to earn that rating, so... I'll put a link in the in the thing down below and you can read about it if you want. It, it actually does kind of mean something in this case. Speaking of cases, oh, I got segues for days. I actually put a case on it. I was thinking about not doing it in light of the, uh, the military ratings and all that other bullshit. It seems to be a pretty damn tough phone, but I thought, eh, why not? I'll put a case on it, you know, hedge my bets. It'd be my luck. I'd you know, break the damn thing. <laughs> Much like my beloved 6P, which I run a Spiegel on, I got one for the V30. And it's funny because I remember when I put that one on the 6P, it was this clear too. <laughs> it does yellow over time. It does. It's just the nature of it, I guess. But I mean, shit, the thing is what, like 15 bucks or whatever on Amazon? Again, link in the doobly-doo. Uh, it's hard to hard to complain a whole lot, really. Pretty damn cheap, and it's a great case. This one's all TPU. It doesn't have the plastic in back, like the 6P one does, where, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a seam that goes around the edge and goes up here. This is just plastic, while the side is TPU. What you want is the TPU. This is TPU all the way around. So all in all, it's actually a little bit better case for the V30 than it was for the uh, 6P. And it actually came with one of these, these uh, Zeiss wipes that I, I have a whole bag of over here because I use them on all, all my photography shit. They're really, really good. It came with one, which was kind of cool. But the, the best part, it came with this little... Uh, little note it says in a situation where there is a stain <laughs> use the wet wipe included to clean the case if there is a stain <laughs> i love english all in all i am super happy with this it has been amazingly good all the stuff you hear about the dac and the uh, audio the headphone port and everything yeah yeah it's all, it's all real I plugged the shittiest pair of like, I think they were like $7 little skull candy in-ear little th whatever the hell, earbuds or whatever. Even they sounded better. It, it really does make a difference depending on what you plug into it. Uh, in my car, way louder. I don't know if it sounds any better, quote unquote, but my god, it's louder. I have to turn it down because fuck. I actually run it at like 75 out of 100. That's one of the really cool things about the audio in this. It's super granular, like how you can turn it down just little bit by little bit by little bit. It's even more granular when you plug headphones in. It's actually out of 100, whereas 
you know, some devices they tend to jump in like big chunks or whatever. You get some granularity out of this bad boy. So all in all, super happy with the V30. Uh, the screen is shit. <laughs> the screen is garbage. I'll throw that out there right now because it is. I can already tell I've only had it for a few days, but I already, I mean, it's, it, it's not good. It's not. I looked at it before I got it. And I saw there were no dead pixels or any kind of like crazy ass blotchy brightness or what you know nothing super crazy going on. So I was like whatever, but there is definite banding and I do notice it. But all in all, the phone as a whole kind of makes up for it. So all in all, it is amazing. I can deal with a little bit of banding. It's okay. I also finally decided to say screw it and. Got a smartwatch. This is the S3 Frontier running the epic Pip-Boy face, which is kind of amazing, really. If you touch a uh, gallery or music or whatever in it, it'll actually take you there. It, it, it's, it's functional. It doesn't just look like the Pip-Boy. It actually does things. This is a godsend for any of us, like me, that hate having a dirty inbox, a dirty... Uh, you know, like having a ton of unread emails or a ton of notifications on your phone or whatever. Because you can actually clear them all and reply on the watch. It's amazing. It, it, I kind of wish I had gotten one, you know, a year and a half ago or whenever the fuck I saw the damn thing. Because it's pretty damn good, really. Only thing I don't like about it is I tend to wear my watch on the inside of my wrist. Um, I don't really know why it was just one of those things that I started doing in the military and it just kind of feels right now. I don't know why. Well, when you go to, um, I don't know, wake it or whatever, it doesn't seem to realize it. Like when you go like this, it doesn't seem to pick it up. Like it's not on. But if you, if you have it on the outside of your wrist, you know, like a normal person and you go like this, it works perfect. It's actually really, really good about it. So you, to, to turn the screen off, you go like this, and it goes off. To wake it, like a regular watch, you would go like this, and it turns on. It's really, really good about it when you have it on the outside of your wrist. I don't really like wearing my watch that way. That's really the only uh, dislike I have about the thing, is kind of my own fault, really. I, I like wearing it the other damn way, but I can go like this all day long, and it it doesn't turn on. So all in all, not the end of the world. All I have to do is just push a button and it comes on. But eh. So yeah, big upgrades. I got the V30. I got the Galaxy Gear S3 Frontier. I guess that's how you say that. I will have uh, more extensive opinions on these here in the next, I don't know, probably two weeks or so, I gotta get my, my hands on them some more and, and see what I like about them and what I don't a bit more before I actually put anything out there. Cause, try to be fair, you know, we all get love struck and shit at the start and don't wanna be biased. But in the meantime, like, share, subscribe, a lot of happy horseshit, you know the drill. Later.